Stewie, how the heck do I find the roots of this thing? I barely have one brain cell left. Oh, please, Brian, use your brain. Or better yet, use mine. I'll show you. Let's say we have this fifth degree beast. Firstly, we need to find one of the roots of the equation. In order to find the possible roots, we make a fraction like this. And in the numerator, we put in the factors of our constant term. In the denominator, we put in the factors of the leading coefficient. Then we put a plus or minus to the fraction. Now we make all the possible fractions. We do it like this. As you can see, we have 12 possible roots. So we just have to do trial and error. Let's say we choose three. Then we do synthetic division. Just follow this setup. If we get a zero at the last, that means x equals three is a solution. As you can see, x equals three is a solution and x minus three is a factor. So after doing that, we get this equation. Now, let's just repeat the process earlier and find our possible roots and we do synthetic division. Just observe the pattern here in doing synthetic division. We add and then multiply our answer to there and put that in the second column and the pattern repeats. As you can see, x equals negative one is a solution and x plus one is a factor. This is our updated equation, and now we need to find the roots of this cubic function. We just do the same process earlier. We try x equals negative 1 and do synthetic division. And as you can see, it is a solution. So now we just have to solve this quadratic function, which is easy. We can just factor it, and as you can see, it becomes x plus 1 half raised to the power of 2. Now we just solve for x, and we get all our roots for the equation. So the final roots of this equation are x equals 3, x equals negative 1 with multiplicity 2, and x equals negative 1 half with multiplicity 2. Boom! Done! Congratulations, Brian. You've officially earned half a brain cell back. Oh, perfect, Stewie. I still feel like a vegetable. You are a vegetable, Brian. I'm just trying to make you slightly less useless.